Hello, hello everybody. Angie here. I'm coming on with the Craft With Me session. We are up to episode five on my um, working on my UFOs. We're going to get right into this to give us as much time as possible to get these projects done with the videos and the time that we have. We left off with we're working on these kind of uh, like a uh, coin style, policy style envelopes that I had previously made um, using some dictionary page. And we've got five left. We got four of them done. And we're just doing some light decorating using stickers, washi tape, you know, just whatever I had, whatever came to mind. No theme, no, you know, nothing um, particular in mind, just kind of, just kind of playing. And I have five left. So we thought we'd just do like in a little assembly line kind of thing and we'll just knock these other five out so we could move on to the next project. So how is everybody? I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's enjoying this series. I, like I said last time, I do feel very good when I've turned the camera off because I feel like I'm accomplished something. And I um, am very grateful that you guys are coming along with me. Hope you guys are pulling out some of your projects and maybe working and crafting along with me. Okay, now when I pulled those out, I had, I guess what I had in mind, I had some pieces cut out. So I put those aside. I still have those. It's a variety of pieces. I'm just going to spread those off out to the left here. And there's some little um, vintage clock elements and stuff like that. Um, I have some cut out and just really just random bits and pieces and it looks like I was just going with a color theme more than anything um so that's what that is and then I thought of doing maybe a closure on a couple of them so I was looking for my doilies my paper doilies and I found some other pieces just again just some random little bits and pieces that tend to get in the way <laughs> a lot of times and there's tickets and labels i got bingo cards i've got you know just just a variety of pieces and they're along the same color theme as those so i'm almost out of space here so i'm going to put those off to the right here so i can kind of see what i'm working with all right and then i found a few doilies and i've got some book page Okay, and it's some vintage old, really old, as you can see, the discoloration of the book page. I love it. So beautiful. Maybe we can use a little bit of that. Okay, so what I was thinking, let's start with this because this was my first thought. We'll do a couple of them. And I thought we'd uh, do, where are those? I'm going to use that as a template, just like we did the last time. Well, maybe a little bit bigger, huh? Um, what do I have that I could use? You know what? Uh, hold on. I've got this candy dish right here. Ta-da! My little snack when I'm in here crafting. <laughs> I'm going to use that. And get a somewhat straight circle. A nice big wide one there we go and then I can trim that out let's do that before I put the flap on and since we're gonna have a lid I'm not gonna cut both the front and the back of this I'm just gonna cover cut the front see if I can get around this you know what oh, I think that's gonna be a little delicate I'm gonna use if this will work And I'm going to use my finger blade. See how that works. I just feel like I'm going to tear the paper. Because, you know, dictionary page is pretty fragile and pretty thin. And until we get, you know, the embellishments on there, um, it's kind of a thin paper. this way and there we go a nice big opening to put whatever in there okay let's start with inking Let's just 
see what we can come up with. All right, I was thinking that this is like a little closure. Wouldn't that be cute? Maybe something like that. So I'm gonna flip it over, hold it in place and fold it down. Well, maybe I should come down just a little bit more. Let me see. Yeah, right about there. Okay. And then fold it down. And I'm not going to worry about the back. If I was doing the back, I might just leave this whole thing and use it as like a, as like a flip out. You know what? But I'm not going to. Okay. So I'm going to trim this off. Okay, so that'll be our front. And then for the back, I just need a little bit. And we'll hold on to those pieces. All right, so let's start there. I think I can get away with just using some glue stick. So let's do one more like that. We'll do two like that. And then um, I'll use this as my template again. Just make them the same. I'll try and use the scissors. Let's see if I can get around. If I take it easy, I might be all right. Wasn't as bad as I thought. Okay. Good to go. Let's bring this one down just even a little bit further, just so they'll be the same, but they'll be different, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna make the op the closure, you know, the flap just a little bit longer. Okay. This will go down directly on a journal page so I don't need to worry about decorating the back you know or how it looks and there we go just like that how cute both the same just one of the flaps is just a little bit longer see which one we like better when we get it done I'm thinking maybe the longer one I don't know all right let's ink up those little edges there got. Now I could use some more of this doily down on the bottom. Mm. 
as you double layer that. That's kind of pretty, isn't it? Let's do that to one of them. But I think I want to ink the second layer up so it will lay and stand out a little bit better against the white one on the bottom. So I'm going to try and ink this up a little without tearing it. See how that looks. I like it. Now I want to bring a little ink to the bottom of this one as well. Okay. Now this one's going to be a little bit down. Okay. Let's, well, let me move these out of the way since we're just working with these two. I'm going to move these out of the way, okay? That will strengthen the flap as well a little bit. We'll put some other stuff on there maybe. Let's see. I think that's really cute. And we'll leave that one as a single. Just so, like I said, they'll be the same, but they'll be different. All right. Well, I've got these clocks right here in front of my face. Here's one with a little bit of white. Oh, look at that. Maybe that one there. And that one there. Um, okay, let's see what else we've got here. We've got some little tabs. We don't need those, though. I'm just trying to work with what I've got here in front of me, guys. Just kind of browsing around. I like these tags. I 
like this tag, but I don't care for that beetle on this one, so I think I'm going to cover it up. Yep, I'm going to do that. I guess I better move along a little bit quicker if we're going to get all five of these done, huh? I'm taking all my time on just these two. Okay. Yeah, like that. Like that. Okay. Gonna go down on the top. like that just like that okay ha huh, one done guys <laughs> all right moving right along next Grab some book page here. Thinking maybe a little piece behind the clock as well. Yeah, I like that. Trying to move a little more swiftly, guys. I know we're a lot of time on just that first one. When I start rushing, though, I get clumsy.
pretty good. I like it. What can we put down here? How about that? That's nice. And we definitely need like a little label or something. So far, so good. There we go. I think I'm gonna call that one done. Need a little more ink. And I think I will bring a little to the bottom edge here like we did the other one. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, that's two. Now let's grab these other ones and see what we can do for those. All right. So, we've got flaps on those. We could do flaps on these. I kind of like that look, actually. But let's do the flaps with book page. How many more pieces do I have? I have two. We might be able to get three out of that. Okay. Let's uh, get rid of this edge here. And ten. Okay. Do this in half. And get two out of here. All right. And for the top on this one, we will just eyeball this one and make it a little smaller. Okay, and this will be our flap. like this square and square so I'm just kind of thinking how I can I'm just going to eyeball it not too bad okay I can work with that and ink Okay, it's cute, and it kind of goes with the colors that we're working with, so not too bad. 
All right, let's see. I like that. Um, let me just do this first before I glue that down, then they'll both be the same. There we go. The um, text is going to be upside down on this one, but that's okay. I do not mind one bit. Okay, so that will be the flap for this one. Let's go ahead and cut our notch in this one. Again, I'm just going to do a quick snip. We're not going for perfection. We're just going for beauty. So there's one, there's two. Let's put this to the side. Let's focus on these two right now. Let's get these two done. All right, um, what do we got? Got a whole bunch of tags. We've got these little, little kind of fall picture elements here. Got some orange and Oh, you know what? We could use one as a closure. So I haven't thought about what kind of closure these should have. here really small Yeah, it's a little too small. I don't think I'll go with that. Let me hold that down. While I am looking, I don't care for that. butterflies here. I'm going to cut these out real quick. Those look cute.
I want that butterfly, but I don't want to cut it out. So I'm just thinking of how I can incorporate it on here by just using half of this tag. just like that. Maybe I can use a half on that one. Let's see. Okay. on this one. What else we got? I got some little clocks here. Nope, I don't like that. But it may change if I ink it, so let me ink it. crazy with the glue though. Okay, I like that. And I think that right there with maybe like a button or something, but I don't have a hole. Oh, I do. Let's see. And that will work well for weight for a closure as well. I have a black one here. I think I like the black better. Okay. I'm not going to move that button because it's going to take a minute for it to set. Okay. That one I'm going to call done for the moment. Let's move on to this one. I like that and that what happened to my other butterfly I had two of them who knows it's in this mess somewhere I think where I got this digital from, I don't even remember. I've got more black on this page, so I think I'm going to put this one over here.
Yep. Okay. Um. Oh, there's my butterfly. I found it. I see him. He's hiding under the flap. And this will look like a partial label right there. Oh, I like it. Okay. Very cute. Okay, I like both of those. Okay, where are we at on time? We got about 10 minutes. We should be able to get the last one done. Yay! Okay, one more, guys. One more. I like it with the flaps. We're going with the flap on this one as well. And again. All right, let's do, um, do another book page one book page left in front of me. And how big is that? Turn this down here, so then my flap won't have to be upside down. Okay. Round these corners. I'm trying to move a little quicker. Okay. There we go. Let's get this inked up. some doily pieces left we could put a little piece of doily above how does that look no nope, I'm not digging that one though what about down here One last thought, just to make sure I didn't want to use any more. All right, moving right along. I like that button. I do, I do. I have some little pieces of fabric here. I like it when I can use up what's on my desk. I'll tell you, I get really, <laughs> really thrilled. So. Fold this a little bit and try and bring a little color to the edges. Okay. I like it. I missed the spot right there though. Alright, that's going to go right across the front. And 
And that's got some blue in it, and I've got a couple blue tickets here. I'm going to incorporate these in here. This one, I'm going to use this as a pocket. Oops, moved on me. There we go. Okay, and these little tickets are going to go in there like that. Okay, so we need something here and here. Let me look at my scraps. out for a moment. Oh, I like that. Sorry, my fingers are inked and glued and a mess. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna, oh, these stuck together. Oh, darn it. All right, well, we're going to have to make them one now. in there. I like that. I still need something here. Oh, what do I have? I feel like we need something bigger. That's not big enough. Okay, I like that. All right, I still need that would go. Maybe with a piece of book page behind it. No, that kind of gets hidden. Let me get it just a little cluster. 
of some of these pieces. Let's see if we can make a little cluster here. That does something, doesn't it? Okay. I think we're on the right track. Okay, I think I need another piece of book page and I'm just holding it in place and I'll show you guys in just a minute once I get the positioning where I want it. I think, I think I like that. Now I'm gonna glue it all, I'm gonna actually, you know what? I'm gonna staple it all just to simplify it, all except for the top piece. Then I'm gonna come back through and I'm gonna put a little ink on it. All right, we got ourselves a really quick cluster. Now, because all the ink papers are a little bit too close in color We need to darken those up a little bit. Here and there. Oop. That's not down. Let's fix that. Okay, we've got a little hint of blue there. I'm gonna get up real quick. I'm gonna grab my blue ink. I think that's what it needs. I think we've got too much brown in that cluster and we need to bring out that blue that's already in the background. So let's hit that with some blue. And I think that's what we need. Does a big, big change. Oh, I like it. And you know what? I'm even going to go around the edge, outer edge, with the blue too. I think that really pops and makes it look nice. Oh yeah. It's just such a habit to use vintage photo for everything. I, sometimes I get caught up in that and I forget, you know, hey, we got other colors we could use, Angie. <laughs> I know. Oh, look at that. Look at, look at the change. Look at the huge change. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna go over this as well. Bring some blue to that. Okay, much, much better. All right, let's put our little cluster down. Well, I apologize. I know I've kind of been a little messy here on this video, guys, but, um, we got them done. <laughs> got them done. Simple, effective, and oh, so cute. I like it. I like them all. I really do. 
Okay, real quick, let me get this out of the way. And let me bring our completed pieces back in. Three flaps with book pages. We did them each different. We did a butter uh, button on this one with some elements. We did a little cluster with some fabric on this one. Clock um, digital with on this one. And then we did the lace. I think the uh, paper doilies are my favorite, but I am pleased with all of them. And that blue, oh my goodness, just really, really pops, doesn't it? All right. Well, I am pleased. I had a lot of fun on this one. I'm, I apologize, like I said, I am apologize for the mess. I know I was kind of shuffling and had things going all over, but sometimes that's what you gotta do, you know? And um, yeah, I'm pleased with all of these. Really, really pleased. I hope you guys like what you see today. And on the next video, we will be moving on to the next thing in my stack of UFOs. Yay! All right, guys, that's it for me. I'm going to sign off. Thank you so very much for stopping by my channel and spending some time with me. I hope you guys like the projects today. If you found something of value, I would absolutely love it if you would hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment and a like. But as always, thank you so very much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And I just realized I didn't cover up that staple. So really quick before I say goodbye... I'm going to slap this little label right on there. Okay, now it's done. All right, guys, I'm taking off. See you soon. Bye-bye.